the the American elk, the one that's a light brown body, a dark chocolate neck. Yeah. Uh, their mating season occurs in late August and into October, with September being the kind of the, the peak peak rut. Um, and so you can, that's a popular time for archery season because you can call in elk, you can bugle, you can cow call, and you can call males in. Um, so you have these really cool interactions of them, you know, bugling. Um, and archery obviously has a less effective distance than, than you would with a rifle. Well, there have been a uh, lot, there have been cases, and it's, it's definitely a concern in, in areas of grizzly country, you have to be extremely careful with grizzly bears trying to take those carcasses from hunters. Um, it's uh, bears will after them, it's called um, kleptoparasitism, kleptoparasitism, where bears will steal the kills from other carnivores. And it happens a lot with bears and mountain lions. A black bear will steal a kill that a mountain lion made. Um, and so it's kind of a similar thing. If a, a grizzly will hear a gunshot or if they smell a carcass, they'll go to that area, they'll find the carcass, and they'll either, you know, depending on how fast this occurs, push the hunter off, or oftentimes you butcher the animal and you are packing it out and you have to make multiple trips or you have to wait overnight and they'll come back and they'll find that carcass and then they'll sit on it and they'll try and, you know, keep it. And... And so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a concern when you're, when you're hunting in grizzly country, that is a huge concern. Uh, hunting in black bear country, country again, it's kind of has to do with, you know, their behavior. Uh, they're not as aggressive. Um, they are pretty scared of folks. Um, and so people don't, it's not nearly as a concern, but there is concern that, uh, that a, black bear or a coyote or a wolf, depending on where you're at, could scavenge the, the carcass. And so oftentimes what you'll do if you are in heavy bear country, you might uh, cut it up, put it in bags, and then string it up into a tree uh, high enough for, so they can't get it. Um, and then you'll, if you have to come back the next day, uh, what we do is uh, – we'll try and make sure we can approach the carcass from a place that allows us to kind of see it from a distance. We'll make a bunch of noise and we'll try and, you know, look ahead to make sure there's, you know, nothing on the carcass when we get back. 